Let's welcome our classic tall competitors, Tony, Marty, Jacinda, Cal, Derek, Brett and Andy. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. The footage you have just seen is Derek competing at the PCA Midlands. So the PCA is actually an untested show and Derek, as you can see from the footage that you will see on the media page if you have not already, held his own yet again in another untested competition and as a natural athlete in a competition like this that is very 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 difficult to do and people backstage after we were finished were also very surprised at the fact that he was natural so make do with that what you will big 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 future ahead for derek it's going to be cool to document as much as i possibly can for him so if you have not already drop this video a like comment down below subscribe if you're new check out derek's full routine which i cut obviously because it's his on his page on his instagram page and probably on his tiktok go and check that out if you have not already enjoy the video guys and let's crack on crack on is that a weird thing to say in a youtube video i don't know enjoy what do you think i don't know <laughs> i mean like when i was backstage i know for certain i'm not i'm not gonna be top three because um, uh, uh, well the big boy isn't it <laughs> So these are not the big boys that Derek was just referring to. I can't even remember the name in this class, but these guys are absolutely massive. Like this video doesn't even do it justice. They were absolutely freaking huge. Um, so Derek, Liv and Bruce all went to TK Maxx, believe it or not, to try and pick up some Halloween stuff. And I stuck around just to film a little bit more of the show, get some media content and all that kind of stuff. I basically said to them, let me know when you're done. I will stick around and get some more footage. But in return for ditching them when they went to TK Maxx, I did in fact offer them a lift home because I am such a gentleman, you know? Did somebody say taxi? See? Uber. <laughs> Hello. I'm going to require a five star review. Something like Midland Bay, like Colville, Bryden Hill, uh, Wolverhampton, etc. etc. I'm getting the stock and putting it in the car and driving around to each shop. And obviously, mm -hmm. I want to meet and greet the owner basically. They only be a 30 second thing. What I want to do is create a video capturing all of that and having like the sign of the shop in there. Me giving the shopkeeper a handshake or whatever and bend them on the shelf or, you know, just a little highlight to say that it's there. So I have to be on the road really truly for about nine-ish in the morning okay. um, to get the car uh, and then pick the boxes up or I could meet you probably slightly after that half nine. Yeah, well, nine o'clock's fine, mate. If you want to start at nine, we can start at nine. You are, where are you? I'm, I live in Sutton, mate. I'm in Sutton. I'll give you a postcode for half nine. Does that make sense? Basically, I'm going to get a G wagon to do the deliveries off first thing in the morning, and so I'm going to have to drive my car to that place. And then once I get there, I'll have to drive back to my house to load the boxes in the car. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. I get you. That's cool. So if you meet me here, then we can just get on the road there. Isn't it? Nice one. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll speak to you in a bit, then, mate. All right. Take care, mate. Sound. See you in a bit, bro. Right. So that is going to require some memory cards. So here goes nothing. These shops are always like mazes. Oh dear. Please tell me this is it. They've got to have memory cards. This is a Curry's. Oh my days. The only place that I could think it would be is over there and there isn't any. I'm struggling if... This is the camera essentials section. Surely it's in the camera essentials section. Ah. Okay. Top of the line, memory card secured. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get to work. So for all this, we need to fuel up, ladies and gentlemen. I have picked up myself 
this and I am absolutely buzzing about it. Satisfying AF when you've got a new tin foil. Oh fuck, oh shit, okay. Oh, it's the shambles, it's the shambles. There we go. You know five seconds ago when I said it's satisfying when you have a new one. I changed my mind, the answer is it's stressful. So the half chicken from Sainsbury's is actually a hell of a lot better. Um, but I was at Tesco, so we've got the Tesco one. Like if I go to Nando's, I have a half chicken. I went to Nando's with Dahlia after I filmed in town with him the other day, and to be honest, oh, I just really, really fancied it. So, is it the right way around? Or? Turn that on the wall because it's off because bills. It means that the time has never arrived, but I genuinely, I, I could not give less of a shit. In 45 minutes, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We have dinner. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a wrap for the day. It's not focusing properly. Never mind. I haven't got the energy to care. It is currently 1.05 in the a.m. Now let me tell you why that is significant, ladies and gentlemen, because, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I have a pretty big, long day tomorrow. Um, I still have to shit, shower, shave, get all my stuff ready, transfer some files, and be up at about seven to start the day. So in six hours, I've got to be awake again. That's quite a lot of sleep for, for my standards lately. Not too shabby. Quite happy with my six hours. I'm going to sip on my clear way and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. I'll introduce you to Mikel. have more adulting to do today as well ladies and gentlemen yes we do Bobby needs a little bit more you can't see Bobby needs a little bit more TLC so well I say needs a little bit more I, I, I need to actually put the oil in that I bought remember a few videos ago I bought it specifically first stop of the day is nope not there there Okay, we got what we came for, the oil for Bobby. She needs a little bit of TLC to prepare her for a long journey. Okay. Flipping it, people don't have to know how to part, do they? Jeez. Right, so, quick long story short, we've got um, that bodybuilding event, the bodybuilding show, the effective classic that is on Sunday. So, um, I'm pretty much just picking up some oil for Bobby as a little bit of a precautionary measure because she's not had some for a while. That is job number one of the day. Then we are on to the gym. Yeah, I never put it in my car. Okay. Dirty under here. Glug, 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 glug. I spilt something. Whoa, holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a mad, mad couple of days. We have been everywhere like everywhere all around manchester all around freaking birmingham nottingham we were gonna go to london but we ran out of time like all over the country it's freaking mad what a cool opportunity it's not every single day you get to get driven around the entire freaking everywhere in a g-wagon not just a g-wagon though a freaking g63 yes people you know the vibes that games factory cheating me on manchester so i know i did promise i was going to introduce you to mikhail i have a feeling there will be i hope there will be many more opportunities to do so but to cut long story short i'm a professional right i'm a very professional man if you are hiring me on a videography or like just to create content for you just for whatever i'm a very professional guy right i will do what needs to be done i will get the job done i'll work until the job is done right but Introducing Mikel to you guys was virtually impossible. It was impossible for the reason of me being 
professional, you know, uh, hear, hear me out. So introducing you to Mikhail would have involved me filming on my memory cards, right? The memory cards that you saw me struggle to get at the start, I managed to clear one as well. We filled them the entire trip, right? That we filmed a lot of stuff, 4K. If I'd have vlogged, if I'd have recorded myself or recorded Mikhail speaking or whatever, yes, that's a bit of promo for him, but he don't need me for that. He does not need my help for promo. He doesn't need little old Liam's extra promotion. But my point would have been, I would have run out of space earlier in the day and had less to film of him, of Mikhail, the client, technically, I'd have run out of space on my memory card before I got all the stuff that I needed to get with him. You see how unprofessional that would have been? See, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I know you do, and I know you understand. However, I will have some sort of, well, I'll have the content that will get posted on his socials or whatever, wherever he wants to put it. That will be coming over the next probably few days. I think he plans to post everything. So we need to get all of that sorted. We've got a busy month with the whole Badalia thing. We've got the NFM shows. Uh, coming up next month and the one that's still just gone. I'm still editing all that. Uh, what else we got? Oh my God, it's the Arnold Expo and then just stuff in between like random little jobs as well. September is mental, like crazy in a good way, but I genuinely do not know how I'm gonna get it all done. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna round the video off here because I've got more shit to do. Thank you all for all of your support. I really, really, really appreciate it. I would not be here in this flat being able to, to film videos like this if it wasn't for you. It really is that deep. So thank you. I appreciate every single one of you. If you're still watching right now and you have not already, drop the video a like, comment down below, let me know your favorite part. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you all in the next one. Together, we will grow.